Matt, you, you rarely show a lot of emotion usually after a match, but you were obviously very excited about this one. What does title number two feel to you? I mean, it feels just as good as title number one. Better. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a new year. It's, it's a new thing. It's a new challenge. There's new obstacles you have to overcome. And, you know, throughout the year, you don't show a lot of emotion because you're, you're not finishing the way you, you want to finish. You know, you don't wrestle in the perfect match, so you're not completely satisfied. And, you know, I still didn't wrestle the perfect match, but that's where you want to be in the end. So, you know, you got you to gotta get a little bit of emotion with that when you finally reach your goal. He looked dominant. He was forcing the pace. We liked that. He had to work hard to score. That guy was, uh, he's flexible and he's got good hips and we got a plan and we had an early opportunity and kept grinding away and capitalized on an opportunity late and rode him. So it was a good match. It was a good match by McDonough. And what was the key there? Uh, what did you do to, to get that second one after you fought off that one, that extended one in the first period and then when you got the one, what did you do? What did you change you up? You get there? it on a leg and your mind, your mind says, man, he's flexible, he's strong, but your, your heart, your heart says, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not coming away with no takedown. I'm not, I'm not getting a stalemate. This match is, I'm ending it right here. And, you know, that's what you got to do. You get in those tough situations, you have a second to think. The only thought that goes through your head is, I'm not letting go of this. There's no way he's getting out of this. There's no way. And that's what, that's what it's got to be. Matt, Iowa is obviously one of the more elite programs in wrestling. You're now, now a two-time NCAA champion for the most storied program. What does that kind of mean to you in, in leaving your legacy at Iowa? And you still have one year left. Well, you know, I mean, that thought crossed my mind today. Uh, you know, how are you going to make your legacy? How, how are you going to, you know, set your mark in the program? And I, I was a one-timer, a three-time finalist. You know, that's good, but I want to be in that group that, you know, keeps getting smaller and smaller. And that, that three-time NCAA champion group is even smaller. Just like I said my freshman year, moving on to the next thing. It's not over yet. I'm not done yet. I still got a year left to go and moving forward right from, from right now on.